Good morning everyone, I'm Felipe from Electric Bike Advisor and today I'm with Sean, the owner of Spokes, a bike shop in, located in Abbotsford and I want to introduce the shop to Sean as well and to share the philosophy of what bike shop is and regarding electric bikes as well. So, hello Sean, how are you? Good. Good. Nice, nice. All right, Sean. So, yeah, I just would like to know more about the purpose of the bike shop. So, can you share the primary purpose and philosophy of the bike, the bike shop, and how e-bikes fit into the long-term goals of the of the shop? Yeah. So, back forty-five years ago, this week we started as a, a BMX shop in Moorabah. Uh huh. Um, from there, in Moorabah, the shop moved into a family all-rounder general local bike shop yeah and when i uh when, when i first started at the shop with gary it was still that family orientated everything shop mm. uh i think it was 15 ish years ago maybe a bit longer gary went over to holland with gazelle and did a ride and spent a month or so there mm -hmm. and came back basically saying that we need to migrate away from anything sporty or athletic and yeah. make it a everyday bike shop. Because normal people ride bikes, they don't Agreed. need to be super, super sporty orientated. Yeah. We still do that for servicing and repairs, but it's not our focus. Yeah. Um, E-bikes played into that very early, especially with the hills around Moorabark and the Dandenongs being on our doorstep. Mm -hmm. So being, we first started with conversion kits, which I actually still have the really first cool. e-bike we converted, hiding up the back corner. Okay. Um, so we've been in playing with electric bikes from lead acid batteries in very early days. Um, and bringing the same philosophy. And... Yeah, normal bikes, everyday bikes for people and mm -hmm. just putting a smile on people's face. Nice. So yep. this comes into the second question, but you're now commenting about like community involvement and engagement and how things are moving along. Yep. this time so uh yeah in what way does your bike shop engage with the local community and how do you promote e-bikes in that sense so we don't do any active promotion of e-bikes by themselves yeah other than being here as a, a friendly face and willing to answer any question so mm -hmm. a lot of people walk in the door knowing absolutely nothing about e-bikes, mm -hmm. but they've got a friend who's had one or they want to ride one and they want to ask questions. Mm -hmm. Being able to answer them without pushing them to make a decision mm -hmm. and take them for a spin. We've got the Air Boulevard directly behind us deliberately yeah. to point them up a hill and see what they actually are like in the real world. Uh, in terms of community engagement, we've done work with schools, with bike heads, with the Ride to Work Day, we do something with Yarra or with the convent locally. Okay. Uh, but we want to be a friendly, helpful local bike shop mm -hmm. rather than an active, in-your-face marketing sort of style. Is it's, uh, we'll have the local schools reach out for fundraising raffles and that kind of thing and we'll, we'll help out where we can. So there, that could be a great way to help people to transition from standard bikes, if they have yep. a, standard, a standard bike, into e-bikes as well, which is something important. I, I believe that, you know, having, how do I transition, like as a bike shop, how do a bike shop actually can help people to transition from that bike to an e-bike, why to consider an e-bike? So it seems to be that that's a great way to do it too. Now, Sean, about the environment, which is a very big topic these days as well, then also carbon footprint. Yep. And we know traditional bikes can offer a lot of advantages in that sense, and e-bikes can also do. Um, how e-bikes sold in this, the, the bike shop spokes in Abbotsford contribute to reducing the carbon footprint when compared to traditional bikes? So compared to a traditional bike, the carbon footprint will be slightly higher no matter what. We've got a battery, mm. we've got additional components that's going to add to that initial carbon investment. Yeah. But the transport and the rest of the manufacturing process, it's a bike. So mm. it's going to be the same. Where it really compares is against electric vehicles of bigger categories like a car, mm -hmm. especially mm. with cargo bikes like um, like any of the long tails and the big box bikes, when you're able to replace an entire petrol or electric 
vehicle mm. with a two-wheel e-bike, you're talking about having one hundredth of the battery on that bike yeah. to do all of your day-to-day -day commuting and your everyday riding. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the things we consider before putting a brand on the floor or selling a, a, a bike mm -hmm. is one, the packaging and ethos of that brand. Mm -hmm. Most brands these days are 90% plastic free in their packaging to us as a bike shop. That's great. So it comes in cardboard, it's wrapped in cardboard. Some are even using Velcro straps, not cable ties now. Okay. But all of that packaging is designed to be as eco-friendly as practical, mm -hmm. but damage isn't eco-friendly either, so it needs to, needs to do its purpose. Yeah. Um, second to that, the quality and the purpose of the bike needs to do what it's designed to. Yeah. You can buy the most low carbon e-bike in the world, but if it only lasts you 12 months doing what you want it to do and you outgrow it and need to sell it, mm -hmm. that, that carbon sink of the initial investment can be lost and completely wasted. Yeah. Um, but the, the, the bigger aspect from our point of view is less around carbon and numbers, because when it comes to the bikes compared to other vehicles, the numbers are tiny. It's really about that active transport and that mo mobile transport. Yeah. When you replace car trips with a bicycle, you're more active, you're using you're using your body, if you integrate that into your day-to-day -day commuting with the assistance of electrics, it's still better than sitting in a car, sitting in traffic. Yeah. Um, and everything needs to tick along for it to work. Yeah, it has everything. to be a win-win in all aspects, environment, job, customer. Yeah. Uh, Sustainability has got a few different points on the star. Yeah. Um, and it can't just be the preachy part of the sustainability. It needs to be economically sustainable in a common sense way, not in a corporate greed way. Yeah, yeah, excellent. All right, Sean, thank you very much. I think like this is a yep. set of questions that I wanted to get to introduce the bike shop and also to see what the community, you know, has to see here when coming to the shop. So yeah, thank you very much for the time and yeah, see you next time. No worries.